So we're staying here for one night for Alex's birthday. We got a two queen room that is close to the ocean. We are told it's a partial ocean view, although when I look at it, it looks like a full ocean view. We ended up doing this kind of last minute. We actually just booked this like an hour ago. We do have a private balcony, although I will say it is a little bit small. It's kind of just good for walking out on and maybe looking out at the water. You can walk very easily to the sister property of the Mission Pacific across the street. I believe we do have access to their amenities and you would too if you're staying here for the night. Um, in the two queen room with the city view, um, two queen beds, we haven't laid on them quite yet, but they do look comfortable. Really nice linens from what I can tell. A small couch area with a little coffee table and sitting area. Nice decor on the wall, kind of a beach theme. 55 inch LG nano cell TV. I actually really like this. I haven't gotten a chance to look at a nano cell TV myself in person yet, so this is cool. Four drawers, quite large down below, although nobody uses these in hotels anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, we have a nice little breakfast area over here with an Italy coffee machine. Didn't seen one of these in a Cat 5 before. So this is a Cat 5 Hyatt property. Um, typically I'll tease into like Cat 6 or 7, so that's kind of nice. Um, they do have nice refillable water bottles you can use. I think you can take these home, or if not, I will anyways. But uh, nice touch of them to include. I haven't seen that quite before. I'm going to guess there's a mini fridge under here. Yes, and there is. Standard for the Hyatt. And then uh, they have a little goose lamp. I'm into that. I really like the goose lamp. Uh, there is a small safe in here. I think it is laptop size if you want to fit something in. There is a steamer in here, which I typically don't see. I think that's a nice extra amenity. Closet here, place you want to hang anything up. And it has two nice plush robes. The bathroom looks actually super nice. Uh, they have a rainhead shower in here, which I haven't seen at a property before, as well as a normal uh, shower attachment. They have what looks to be a nice uh, set of conditioners and soaps. I don't know what brand those are, I haven't seen them before. Otherwise in here, nice large vanity and has plenty of towels and I would say they're going for a matte black granite and then uh, white sink uh, vibe, which is cool. They have a private um, little bathroom area. There's a coat hook here, which is nice. And I would say overall, the, uh, the decor gives me a nice beach theme. What do you think, Dookie? It's good so far. I like it. Do you feel at peace? I do. Okay. Over here we do have uh, a nice Bluetooth stereo clock, which is kind of cool to include. A nice phone, um, cool kind of lamp set up here. So overall we're liking it. So we're staying here for just the one night. Um, I don't know a ton of details about the property yet, other than I have noticed when we pulled into the valet, they have free surfboard rentals, which is kind of cool. Um, Oceanside is just north of San Diego by about like 30 or 40 minutes, so it's not too far from us. We do have access, like I said, to the Mission Pacific amenities. We just have to stop into the front desk there to get keys to access them. Um, but we'll be showing you around the amenities of not just the Seabird, but the Mission Pacific during this video. So if you wanted to say either of those, you can take a look. Okay, now we have the Slippy test, okay? And that's when I come to Hyatt's and test the Slippies. It's a good indication how it is. First touch, they're plush, okay? Put them on our hands first. Yeah, feels good. Put on the old feet, goes. Oh yeah, these are top echelon of slippies. These are better than Ilya Maria's slippies, which is a cat seven. Down here at cat five, you're getting good slippies. You want to feel the slippies? <laughs> Did he just do that? I wish he didn't. <laughs> Seabird's gym, uh, actually okay. huge, and it's uh, very newly built. The whole property is newly built. I'm gonna figure out when this was actually built and I'll inform you of when it is. Um, but it all has techno gym equipment. There's a Peloton in here, very high modern gym. This actually might be one of the largest I've seen um, at a property like this, except for maybe the Park Heights gym, which is nicer, but even that actually might not be any better. 
If you are interested in working out here, there is a weight rack, plenty of different equipment. There's a row machine. Uh, there is some um, treadmills, other elliptical machines over here. There is a Peloton in case you want to use it. Overall, nice dumbbell area. I'm going to give it a good four out of five for the Hyatt Seabirds Gym. Yeah, what did you On draft here, we have cold or room temp water for your liking, as well as uh, a little hot towel for when you're done with your workout. Okay, it's a cold towel, actually. It's not a hot towel. <laughs> <laughs> but it is refreshing on my neck. I do like it. Three out of five stars. Three out of five stars? Okay. Warm water. We're walking out of the Seabird and the Mission Pacific is immediately across the street. We're gonna try that out for lunch. What are you thinking so far of these properties? I like them. I think we were originally thinking about staying at the Tommy and I think we're still gonna do that, but I am happy that we went here. They have a fantastic rooftop restaurant at the Mission Pacific. Seabird's brand new, fully updated. So I'm excited to see what else we get up to here. We're just finishing up drinks here at the Mission Pacific rooftop. It has a really cool view, uh, much higher than where the Seabird ends up. So the Seabird strikes me as a better hotel overall for a family vibe. The Mission Pacific strikes me as a little bit better for couples. It's my opinion so far. I'll update you along the way. Uh, we just had nice cocktails up here and they're going to probably go get some food. So we'll show you around. Oceanside is, um, you know, an area of San Diego that I think was like forgotten for a long time. And I don't want to say necessarily forgotten, but a lot less recognized than other coastal areas of San Diego. So anyways, the point is that Oceanside is uh, kind of up and coming relative to the other areas of San Diego. And uh, I think the Hyatt's definitely making a good move being here. A plus Hyatt. A plus Hyatt. It's a We've made it to Belade 1936, which is a Italian restaurant in Oceanside. I want to give it a little, a little taste, a little review. I'll come back to you. 1936, one bite, everything else rolls on the meat over pizza. Crust has a good char to it without being too soggy. Good meat, reasonable marinara sauce. 7.9 out of 10. Overall, we liked it. Now we're headed to the uh, Seabirds Bar. Think of all the high properties we've been to, the robe here is insane. Look, they got a little bird. It's pretty sick. It has a interior fleece lining and it has pockets. I usually do not see pockets on these robes. So overall, I would give the robe a nine out of 10 here at the Seabird. You gotta check the print. It really is that good. And how's the CB so far? A1. Got your little print. Great robe. 10 out of 10. Great room. Okay, so thoughts on the Seabird so far. 
Very good. Um, the service staff has been very friendly. We have been to the hotel pool bar, to the front desk. Everyone has been super nice so far. I would give it a four out of five on service so far. The room cleanliness is a five out of five. Immediately perfect when you walk in. The amenities here are great. And even in the room, just the small touches are what brings you back. I really enjoy it. The robes are cool, which I've talked about. Um, the overall location here in Oceanside, I wouldn't think is something you'd think of immediately as this place you want to go to in San Diego. But when you get here, it actually is really cool. Um, the overall properties vibe is sick. And I think we'll try to check out the Mission Pacific's pool tomorrow along with the Seabirds pool because we didn't really go today. We'll try to give you more of a, an amenities look tomorrow instead of just the room. <laughs> I think it's been really fun so far. I'm excited to check out the pool. I think I definitely want a frozen daiquiri by the pool, but it's been a great time. Walking down Oceanside and we found an in and out we're gonna check it out. You know how it is. In and out's always good and it's very close to the hotel, so we're doing it. Now we're in the Seabird Library. It has a cool decor to it, has uh, a nice selection, and I don't know if anyone will ever really come here, but it is here. So if you wanna check it out, you can. Anyways, we will check in with you guys in the morning at the breakfast. We are just walking out of the Seabird this morning over to the Mission Pacific. Uh, you can get an amenity key to the Mission Pacific or vice versa to the Seabird if you're staying at United property. So we thought we'd uh, take them up on that and check out some of the Mission Pacific's amenities. We got a late checkout time extended until 2 p.m. today, although with Globalist you can extend until 4, so maybe we'll try to do that later on. Um, otherwise, just looking to have a chill day here in Oceanside. Turns out I was wrong. Uh, you actually don't. So previously they were giving access to the pool areas at both. However, the Mission Pacific is now trying to differentiate themselves as a 21 and up hotel. Is that the person at the front desk just told me uh, a few minutes ago? So not sure exactly how that's working, but uh, apparently the Seabird's more themed towards uh, family staying versus the Mission Pacific, maybe more of a uh, 21 up crowd is, is the vibe I got from the hotel front staff. So. Based on that, they're no longer allowing access to either properties, pool areas. You still can go up to the rooftop anytime with the Mission Pacific. However, you don't have to be staying at this hotel to do that. You could just be an off guest uh, and, and come for lunch. So I don't, I don't think that's a really an amenity access. Enjoyed a very nice breakfast this morning at Piper. Excellent buffet. If you are gonna go, I would recommend getting the buffet over just the standard breakfast items. It was fantastic. It was like 40 bucks a person. However, if you are globalist, it will be included. Um, really nicely done. Every station was awesome. The staff was super friendly. Overall, any interaction we've had with the staff here is super pleasant. Everyone seems genuinely happy to be here. So I figured out the hotel opened in May of 2021. 
as I believe the Mission Pacific did. Um, so they've been open for about uh, roughly 15 months or so now. So the staff still feels like they're probably new to the property, newer to working here, and are just like friendly interacting with guests, which is nice. Um, we came on what I think is a relatively uh, full weekend. I don't think they're necessarily sold out, um, but the pool area is fairly packed. And, um, you know, there's still plenty of chairs available, but I'd say uh, if you do want to get to the pool, I'd maybe get there earlier in the day if you're trying to get a good spot. Uh, the gym is super nice. We've really uh, enjoyed walking through there. I might try to get a workout in before we leave. Overall for category five, I would definitely recommend it. And if you have the points or you just want to come stay here in cash, I do not think you'll be disappointed. So again, if you liked the video, like and subscribe down below and we will see you guys in the next one.